25. Using the relevant S values listed in Appendix G, calculate the delta S notch for the following changes. And then we have this balanced equation. So we have N2 gas plus 3H2 gas yields 2 NH3 gas. Okay, so the relevant S values that they're talking about, remember that S stands for entropy. So we're trying to solve for the delta S, so that's the change in entropy, the, the change in the randomness or the disorder of the molecules from you know, beginning to the end, from reactant to the product. Now, this notch, this like little degree sign, just means that we have to be under standard conditions. That's why we have to go to the back of a textbook. So that's what I did. I went to the back of the textbook to find out what those standard enth uh, entropy values are for N2, which is 191.6, H2, which is 130.7, and NH3, which is 192.8. Now, in this case, we can kind of guesstimate if our delta S value is going to be a positive or a negative. Now, keep in mind that all these are gases, right? So you're going from, basically, if we count up how many total moles we have, we had one mole of N2, right? So we had one mole of gas here plus three moles of gas. The side on the left is four moles of gas, and we're only going to two moles of gas, right? So we're going from four moles of gas, which is more, to two moles. So we're basically bringing down the entropy. The more gas you have, the more random the, the, react, the, the container is going to be. So in this case, we could probably guesstimate that this would be a negative value because we went from a high number of moles of gas to a lower number. But now let's just see what the values are. What's the formula? Well, it's this right here. Delta S for your whole entire reaction, which is what we want to try to find out, is the sum, that's this, this just means sum. And when we say sum, we mean add, right? So we're going to sum up all the delta S's of the products and then subtract them from the sum of all of the delta S's of the reactants. Okay, pretty easy enough. Let's just add them together. Now, are these numbers going to be the same or different? Well, these values, 191.6, 130.7, and 192.8, those are all for one mole. Now, keep in mind that we have a balanced equation here. I have one mole of N2, I have three moles of H2, and two moles of NH3. So, for example, for H2, since I have three of them, I have to multiply this number by three. And what you're essentially doing is you're just taking every number and timesing it by that coefficient. So the N2 would be times by one, and the NH3 would be times by two, because you have two of them. Now you have to sum them together. You got to add them up. Literally, there's a plus side on the reactants. So it would be this plus this. There's only one product, so I don't have to add anything together. I just got to multiply that number. Let's see what we get. For the reactant side, I got 191.6 plus 3 times 130.7. And I get 583. 583.7. Okay, that's the total delta S or the total entropy for the left side. And then 2 times 192.8. I get 385.6 for my product side. So 385.6. So let's put them into the formula. Delta S standard for the RxN, RxN just means whole reaction, equals the product value, which was 385.6. I'm going to subtract that with the reactants of 583.7. We can already see that it's going to be a negative value. So we guessed correctly. Delta S for the whole reaction is this minus 583.7. And I get a negative 198.1. And the units are your S units, right, for entropy. Joules per mole times Kelvin. Doesn't matter which way you write it. They're both fine. And that's the final answer. So we're losing entropy as we're making the products. It makes sense because we have now less moles of gas. And that's it. What do you think?
Thank you for viewing the video. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. I love talking to you guys. I hope that you have a great day. Keep studying hard and I'll talk to you in future lessons. Go check the channel out. We've got tons more topics that maybe we can help you out with. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.